Mama. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel, Ninja Mommy. This is part three of the sleep training process. If you haven't watched part one and part two, pause this video right now and go watch part one and part two. Part one, I talk about how to get the baby to sleep through the night without the milk feeds. In part two, I talk about how to get the baby from rocking in your arms to sleep on their own in their own crib. So go ahead and check both of those parts out because this is part three and in this part I will be talking about some of the Q&A and some of the obstacles and challenges that I faced while I was trying to sleep train my beautiful daughter Samara. Alright guys, so let's dive right in. One of the first issues that I noticed in Samara is when I stopped giving her milk in the crib and instead started giving her milk outside of the crib, you know, right before her bedtime routine started, which was around 5.30. But I noticed that the first time I gave her milk, she just like drank a little bit and just squirted all of it out. Or she would just throw the bottle, like she just didn't want to drink. So my solution for that was the next day, actually my husband suggested this, which is a great idea. He said, let's not give her milk at all. If she throws it today and she goes to sleep without milk, then she will know that if she wants to drink milk, she has to drink it in her high chair. She can throw it. So let's see if it works. So the first day when she squirted the milk and she threw it I took the milk away and I'm like alright baby let's go it's time to get ready for your bedtime routine so we took her upstairs got her ready and she went to sleep without drinking milk that night the next day however when we gave her her milk in the same situation same scenario gave her milk in the high chair she actually drank it she didn't throw it she didn't waste any milk she didn't squirt any of it out but she actually drank it because she realized if I don't drink my milk in my high chair my parents are not gonna give me milk for that night at all and since she didn't drink milk that night, the following day for breakfast, I substituted that with yogurt. If your kid is not drinking milk, um, you can substitute it with something else like yogurt. So the next day when she woke up, I gave her yogurt for breakfast instead of like because she didn't drink her milk that night, I just replaced it with yogurt and she was still getting her nutrition, her calcium and everything. So another issue I faced with Samara was um, also regarding milk was that she decided to just stop drinking her milk altogether. Like I would give her her milk at 5 30 i'm like samara it's doo-doo time it's milk time she'd be like uh no thanks i'm good it's just like walk away and just do her thing and play with her toys whatever and i'm like okay so then the solution for that was i decided to give her milk around snack time so she's on two snacks a day one in the uh, one in the morning and one in the afternoon before and after her nap time so I give her her milk while I give her her fruits and crackers and whatever and then I give her milk and she actually drank it so if your baby's not drinking milk at a certain time try giving it to them at a different time so if your baby's not drinking milk at all try giving it to them at a different time so I gave it to her during her snack time and she drank it perfectly fine and she was also still hungry for her lunch and dinner Another problem that I faced a while sleep training Samara was throwing the lovey. She would always just throw her lovey and I was like, oh my goodness, like, so she would always throw her lovey and I wouldn't know what to do. Like I tried a few different ways to get her to stop, but like some of the ways that I tried was I would wait like a minute or two before I give her her lovey back, which resulted in a lot of crying and a lot of distress and a lot of drama. So I'm like, okay, no, 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 I don't want to do that. Remember guys, this sleep training whole process is no tears whatsoever. We're doing the gentle way. So I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to withhold the lovey from her I tried not giving the lovey to her at all again she was really upset about that I tried telling her Samara no we don't throw the lovey down and the more I said no to her the more she's like oh, okay that means I can do it like so the more so the more you stop someone from doing something the more likely they are to do it it's just something like you know oh mama said I can't do it watch me i can totally do it so that didn't work as well the only thing that worked for me it might not work for you it might work for you give it a try is every time she threw her levy down i returned it back to her without saying anything i would just like give it back to her she'll throw it i give it back to her so it was just like a lovey match going on between us she'll throw it and i'll give it back to her she'll throw it and i'll give it back to her 
I did that in the hopes that she will eventually get tired of it and ultimately stop doing it, which did happen. She got tired or bored or one or the other of throwing her lovey down and she just stopped. And there was a few nights, there were a few nights where she slept without her lovey, without a problem. So she just stopped throwing it all on her own, guys. So try that method, but don't say anything to them when you're throwing it back. Just, you know, throw it back to her and they'll throw it back to you and just you know keep throwing it. So you're going to be sitting or laying down next to the crib and if they throw the lovey down, you just throw it back. And they do eventually like you know get tired of doing it because how many times are they really gonna do it? They can't do it all night long. So eventually, eventually they will stop. I'm guessing it could work the same way for a pacifier, but Samara uh, no longer uses a pacifier, so I have no experience in that. You can try the same thing with a pacifier. If they throw it, you just like give it back to them, throw it, give it back to them, keep doing that and eventually they'll stop. Another obstacle that I faced was she still woke up after she was fully sleep trained. I spoke about it in my part one video, how to get the baby to sleep through the night. And in that video, we eliminated night feeds. And if they woke up after that, remember you don't give them milk, you just put them back to sleep with a rocking. In part two, I talked about how to get the baby from a rocking in your arms to putting them in the crib and getting them to sleep on their own. If after that sleep training process, they still wake up, you do not pick them up or rock them back to sleep. You actually just remain in their room. Tell them, baby, it's okay. Mom's here. It's okay. Dad's here. Go to sleep, baby. And you just reassure them by staying in the room. You do not pick them up. You do not rock them because that will like send you backwards. Instead, you will just stay in the room and just tell them, it's okay. Mom's there. Dad's there. Lucky for me, Samara's room is fully darkened. So when she does wake up in the middle of the night, like once in a while, I go in and I just tell her, it's okay, Samara, go back to sleep. And it's so dark that when I leave the room, she doesn't notice. So once I reassure her and I think that she's falling back asleep, I just crawl my way out of the room. So you can try that. Remember, in part two, you are not going to be picking your baby up and rocking them back to sleep. Yep. Once you have them fully sleep trained, stick with the last step. Do not work backwards. Okay guys, those were some of the obstacles and some of the um, difficulties that I faced while sleep training Samara. Let's recap quickly what they were, such as throwing milk, not drinking milk, a throwing lovey, and waking up after being fully, fully sleep trained. I had a question from someone. They asked me all of these sleep training videos that they usually watch tends to be like where babies are sleeping super early, like at 6, 7, 8 p.m. But their baby goes to sleep at 10 11 so can you still sleep train the baby even if they have a late bedtime so my answer to them was yes you absolutely can whatever works for your family is the best way to go so if your baby and your entire family is used to sleeping at 10 11 p.m that's okay even if it's 12 1 a.m that's still okay you can still implement sleep training into their life the only thing is to be consistent and have a consistent bedtime Bedtime routine. A bedtime routine is really, really, really important. And I've mentioned it in my other videos that it doesn't have to be super elaborate. You can have a simple bedtime routine, which consists of taking a bath, um, changing into onesies, reading a book, cuddle time, kisses. It can be whatever you want. It doesn't have to be super elaborate. It can be as simple as this and just stick to it and have a consistent routine and whichever sleep training process or sleep training method that you decide to go with have a consistency in it that is the major key in sleep training your babies guys you can't do one thing one day and another thing another day that will totally confuse your baby babies love routine and they love and appreciate consistency so whether your baby goes to sleep at 5 p.m or whether they go to sleep at 12 a.m you can still implement sleep training into your life Another thing I want to mention is that while I was sleep training Samara, there were lots of moments where I had to stay in the room for almost an hour when she's just, you know, talking to herself and doing her own thing and I'm just sitting there. So like, what do I do to kill time? And I'm sure you have already like million ideas of how you can kill time, but the idea that I want to suggest is read Quran, guys. 
I know Ramadan is over, but we can still keep the spirit of Ramadan alive. So if you're in the room with your baby and you're trying to sleep train them and they're talking to themselves, doing their own thing, they're not bothering you, you're not bothering them, you're just sitting there, just, you know, whip out your phone or your iPad, whatever you want, and just read some Quran. Read as much Quran as possible in that time because that's sacred time for you. No one is there to disturb you. No one is there to bug you. You have no other priorities in that, at that moment. You don't have any chores to do in that moment. You possibly can't do anything else. So spend some time with the Quran. That's what I did when I was sleep training Samara. And once she was fully sleep trained and I had that extra hour to myself, I still dedicated it to the study of Quran and to and to reading the Quran. So guys, I definitely like want to offer this tip to you. Um, it's my tip to give you a way to implement Quran in your life every single day. Because there are so many things to do in a day for us moms and dads that we really don't have the time. But when we are in that um, room with our baby and there's silence among us and there's nothing else distracting us, you can truly connect with the Book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I know there might be a lot of distractions such as your phone, TikTok, iPad, WhatsApp, Facebook. And instead of spending that time on social media, spend that time with the Quran because honestly, that is a consistent time for you every single day while you're trying to sleep train your baby. No one is going to take that um, time away from you. So why not spend it with the one and only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Hey guys, that concludes my three part sleep training videos. I hope this workshop, this sleep training information was helpful to you. And if it was, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you have subscribed, it's Jazakallah Khair. Share it with your friends and family. And leave comments below and share with me some of the obstacles, some of the struggles that you faced while sleep training your child or are still facing while you're sleep training your child. And Maybe I can offer some tips, guys. I release new videos every Thursday at around 2 p.m. So look out for those. Until next time, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Peace. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.